difficulties in Europe in that regard. This video highlights the plight of ex-Muslims from Muslim-majority countries, the persecution they suffer from, and the right to asylum arising therefrom, and the hypocrisy of the migration authorities in Europe in that regard, and this specific case, the hypocrisy of the Swedish migration authorities. My name is Omar Makram. I am an ex-Muslim atheist from Egypt. I face threats from both individuals and the authorities on account of my views on religion, which are punishable under the Egyptian blasphemy law. In Egypt, as many other Muslim-majority countries, atheists and ex-Muslims and anyone who holds unconventional views on Islam is systematically persecuted. I sought asylum in Sweden and recently my request for asylum has been denied by the Swedish migration authorities, who while acknowledging that atheists in Egypt are being persecuted and that they deserve asylum, they refuse to acknowledge that I am an atheist, despite the strong body of evidence I provided them with. They resorted to absurd arguments, going so far as saying that perhaps if they send me back to Egypt, I will hide or change my views. Throughout the whole asylum-seeking process, which took about 15 months, the Swedish migration authorities were much more concerned with finding an excuse to deny me asylum than to genuinely attempt to ascertain the validity of my claim. And now they are seeking to deport me back to Egypt, which makes them in breach of the UN Refugee Convention and the principle of non refoulement At some point, the Swedish Migration Board said that if I'm able to prove that I had left Islam, I'll be granted asylum. Which made me think, how can I prove that I no longer a Muslim? What is the one thing that no Muslim would ever do under any circumstances? And since, essentially, my current convictions are the renunciation of my form of faith, there is no better act to demonstrate that than desecrating a copy of the Quran which is considered the highest form of blasphemy in Islam. And this is what I will do now. First, some spitting, a little bit of ripping, and And before he uh, tears a page out, he needs to uh, read uh, something from it that sounds really stupid, like uh, Quran 36, 40 through 43, uh, that talks about how the sun and moon travel in boats similar to that of Noah. Or um, uh, sperm coming from the between the ribs and backbone. Just tearing out a page of the Quran just doesn't do it for me. But he's got to do that to, uh, you know, use some, read some examples from the Quran, if you ask me. At the end of this video, I will be burning the Quran. Well, read it. Quran, Quran to me parts first. is nothing but a fantasy book, the contents of which I find both ridiculous and repulsive. Well, most of it anyway. Me personally, I much prefer A Song of Ice and Fire. This is not an attack on Muslims. My family is Muslim and I have many Muslim friends and I love them. But we must always differentiate between religious doctrines and people who subscribe to them. Religion is just an ideology, while an individual is much more complex than a set of ideas. Human beings have rights, ideas do not. And Islam is not a race. People are of course free to hold sacred whatever they want, insofar as they do not try to enforce that perceived sanctity on others. 
I'm aware that what I just did could anger a lot of people and could put my life in danger even here in Europe. But I'd much rather be in danger and free than safe and deprived of my freedom. When faced with a choice between freedom and security, I will choose freedom every single time. One other excuse the Swedish migration authorities are using to deny me asylum is saying that they have no evidence that the authorities back in Egypt are aware of my views. Well, I will save us both the effort of procuring such evidence. This video will be posted to the pages of the Egyptian Interior Ministry, the Egyptian Foreign Ministry and the Egyptian Embassy in Stockholm, making it almost certain that I will be arrested or worse if sent back to Egypt, and hence no longer feasible to deport me if Sweden wants to abide by international law, that is. Finally, I want to address a few parties. To ex-Muslims all over the world, be strong, fight for your right to speak out. To Islamists, who because of what we do and what we say, believe that spilling our blood is halal, we will not be intimidated, we will not submit, and we will not be silenced. To anti-Muslim bigots, do not rejoice. We are as much against you as we are against Islamists. To the Egyptian authorities, namely the Egyptian military, the Egyptian police, the Egyptian judiciary, and General Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. Fuck you, you regressive fascist idiots. Release all prisoners of conscience. And to the Swedish Migration Board, here is your proof. There is no going back from this. There is no hiding. There is no changing it. Now, where is my asylum? And now, for the final act, the Quran burning. So, let's do this. Mm -hmm. He should uh, read uh, Quran 1094 that tells Muslims to go to those who've been reading the before scriptures, the Bible. Yeah, all Muslims could it go? To be corrupted. Well, that's it. I've not been struck by lightning or anything. Well, maybe Allah's taking a nap.